How you doing, Ophelia? How's it going, baby? Hi, <laughs> I didn't see you there. How's it going? How do you like my my recliner? This is the perfect reading chair. I don't know if you can see Desdemona up here. She likes to be here. This is the perfect chair for reading. So for all of you students that have to do reading in the classroom, sitting at a desk upright reading is the most unnatural, uncomfortable way to read. You need to be able to lay your head back, stick your feet out and get comfortable. You need to lay in a hammock, you need to be outside, um, you need to be on your patio, you need to have fresh air, but the position that you're reading is very important. So unfortunately for you guys, you have to read at your desks and sit upright and sit upright and sit upright. Hi, Ophelia. And that's just the worst way to read. Before I actually get started making the video, I have two confessions to make. Number one, I'm still not extremely comfortable talking into the camera. The first couple videos I made, I was standing up and able to kind of walk around a little bit and that's more like teaching, so I was a little bit more comfortable than that, but like just looking straight at the camera, it doesn't feel natural to me yet, so hopefully I'll get better at, at that. I don't know, I'll have to see like, who do I need to think of right? that's right there. Uh, second confession is, maybe I have three. Second confession is that I, I had to vacuum before I could do this video. Now, granted, you can't see the floor. <laughs> Hi, Ophelia. But I knew if I didn't vacuum, like I feel like that you could tell that, I, I, I don't know, that I hadn't vacuumed, like somehow you'd be able to know. And I just, I couldn't stand that. So I quickly vacuumed and then I was like, okay, now I'll make the video. Now, the third thing, third thing that I need to tell you, um, I didn't make a video this weekend and I felt kind of guilty about it. And I was like, oh no, I don't have to make a video every weekend, but I think I do. Um, there's always an excuse or a reason not to do something. Oh, I'm too busy or, oh, I maybe don't have the most important thing to say, which is not true. Of course I've got important things to say, like, come on. But we can always come up with excuses of why not to do something. So that's why I'm making the video today is just to kind of create that habit that I should be putting content out at least once a week. And while I'm working, that's going to be on the weekend. Over spring break, oh yeah. <laughs> you know I'll be reading over spring break and then I'm gonna post some videos, okay? All right. Now, what I wanna talk about today, look at this. I don't know if you can see this, so I saw the cover and it's just the most kick ass, kick a cuss, excuse me, sorry about that, kick a cuss cover that I've ever seen. So this is called A Blade So Black. And as soon as I seen this advertised, like the book hadn't even been published yet, I saw just the cover and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to have that book. I was like, I've got to have that book, okay? Next, I find out after reading about it. So yes, I research books before they even come out. Before I even buy them, I research them and then I get even more excited. So I researched this book and it's supposed to be like kind of a modern day retelling of Alice in Wonderland, right? And so how awesome is that, that we've got a change of representation and we're going to have this modern day retelling of one of the most wonderful, delightful books ever. So here's the part where I'm a little bit scared to continue because I don't know if I'm allowed to say that I'm not enjoying the book. I, I don't know why. When I first started reading it, the prologue was really good and I selected the section that I'm gonna use in class that I think like will help a lot of students um, with their writing and I thought it was really good. But then I got to chapter one, it was okay. And now I, I'm, I'm clear all the way to chapter seven. I can't really tell you a lot about it because I just find my mind drifting to other things when I'm reading it. And why does that happen? Because it's not that exciting. I don't know. I, I, I am finding it kind of boring and I will actually like, I don't know if I can tell you this, but I'll like skip over parts or I'll just like kind of run my eyes down the page and then I find myself turning the page and then I'll read a little bit and then I'll find a little part that's like a little bit interesting and then I'll just turn the page. And I never, ever, ever do that. And my question that I want to pose to you is, 
do I have to finish this book? So I asked my husband and of course he said on principle, yes, you have to finish it. Well, I don't necessarily believe that. And I, I know, I know I shouldn't probably be saying that as a teacher, but um, I'm going to show you in a minute my to be read list. Okay. Let's, let's just pause this right now. Let's, let's pause this right now. And I'm just going to show you the stack of books that I want to read within this next month. Okay. Okay, hey, here are the books that I want to try to read like within the next month. I have a lot more in my, you know, library, yes, I have a home library, and even beside my bed that I need to read also, but this is just my goal for the next month. Hi, Izzy, how are you doing? How are you doing, Izzy? I want to read the first part of Alice in Wonderland. And so do you, you can just see how magical it is. Now, obviously it's, it's meant for a younger audience than what you are, but even as an adult, I can read it over and over again and feel, still find joy and connections and this kind of magical quality to it. If you've never read it, especially if you're about to be like a senior or if you are a senior, I think it's really important that you read it. Chapter one is called Down the Rabbit Hole. Here we go. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what's the use of a book about Alice without pictures or conversations? Oh, wow, you don't need to fight with those girls. So this made me think of a lot of the students about Alice in Wonderland, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this because this is on my iPad, you know, and there are illustrations in it. She was considering in her own mind, as well as she could, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid <laughs> thought I was going to say something there, but I didn't. Whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. Now, wouldn't that be delightful? You're just sitting outside bored. You don't want to pick up the book over there. I get you. And this little white rabbit rolls by you. There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think it was so very much out of the way to hear the rabbit say to itself, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. When she thought it over afterwards, it occurred to her that she ought to have wondered at this, but the time at the time, it all seemed quite natural. But then the rabbit actually did look at his watch. He took a watch out of the waistcoat pocket and looked at it and then hurried on. Alice started to her feet, for it had flashed across her mind that she had never before seen a rabbit with either a waistcoat pocket or a watch to take out of it. And the, burning with curiosity, she ran across the field after it, and she was just in time to see it pop down a large rabbit hole under the hedge. Okay, so that's the setup for Alice in Wonderland, and you guys know that from that point she goes down the rabbit hole herself, and that's like one of my most favorite parts. And then she has, you know, she sees all these things, and they eat me, and drink me, and all this stuff happens, and that's like the famous part of the story that everybody knows. But it's a really wonderful read. Back to a place of black. Maybe it's because I had too much of an expectation based upon Alice in Wonderland. There are hmm, some similarities, like it, uh, it'll say curiouser. You know, of course, that's a word used in Alice in Wonderland, so that word appears in here, but that's not enough. Um, there is a little bit of play with language, which Lewis Carroll did a lot of in Alice in Wonderland, and so like uh, Alice in here has to learn how to deal with her muchness. So there's a little bit of that, but at this point, I, it's like a chore to have to read it and I don't want to read it. I just want to get to my to be read list. And so that's the question I have for you. Do I have to finish this book or do I just drop it, take it to my classroom? Hopefully some student will find it and love it. And I move on to what I want to read that my huge um, stack over there, or do I have to make myself finish this? So if anyone's brave enough to leave a comment, if someone says, Oh, you must finish it, then I will finish it. And I will, uh, post a review of it um, when it's completed. And But if one person says I have to finish it and two people say I don't, then I'll go with that. But I don't know if anyone will comment about whether I need to finish this book or not. So you guys get to decide. If I hear nothing, I'll just go with my conscious. Con okay, <laughs> I guess this is confession four or five or something. I never can say that word right. Conscience, conscience, conscience. It's, it's just one of those words. I just try to say it really fast so that nobody realizes I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, read for life. Have um, have a great spring break. Um, I hope that you read something. It doesn't have to be a book, but I hope that you read something. I hope that you're happy. I hope you enjoy yourself and that you really, really, really don't have to do any type of work. All right. Easy. 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 Thanks for it.
stopping by, go ahead and hit like, subscribe. Catch you next time.